Good day! Good day! What a difference a day makes! We are on Cup Tau! <laughs> oh, excuse me, a little bit croaky. Oh man, that wind has just started to pick up. I've been up since six this morning and didn't sleep too well. A little bit late night last night, try to put that blog that I made yesterday to get that up. Um, but I've done it, the internet is slow, but I, I got there, I've done it. Mission accomplished, and now it's early, and I'm making, I'm back to making vlogs. I, I am. I'm going to be vlogging the out of Kota. <sighs> awesome. Awesome. So I am just walking up Cyrae Beach, look. Ah, oh, fuck. The horse, I left my keys in the horse, I was like, Oh, well, I better not wander off too quick. Now, about 20 minutes ago, this sea was still. There weren't, um, oh man, it was like, it was like an ice rink, a mill pool. It was still, but the wind has picked up. And um, there's a little ripple on the water. But based on where the wind is coming from, it, it could be a good thing because the wind could be pushing away all the shit weather. And that's what we want. So it's a little bit rough on this side. I will be, I've rented a horse. Um, I will be covering all this. And those buildings over there, I think they've been refurbished since last time I was there. So I'll try and get into them. And then I'm flying my drone over the island because the island, you're not allowed to fly your drone over if you're on it. So last time i was here a boat to that island was 200 baht didn't matter how many of you there were um that now if you're a single person it's 500 baht i just asked a guy but the best deal he could do was 250 if there was two of me so i'm gonna have to split myself into two ain't i two for the price of one wow oh, man it is good the sun is bright and shining well that there so I'll take you for a little walk. Oh man, I will. I'll put together a proper Kotai vlog today and then I'll start my vlog about the shark. Um, shark, dare I say it? The shark attack that I'm gonna get later. Oops. I've only gone and done it again. These bungalows right here, look. Cool. <laughs> They are cool. I don't know if any... <laughs> I've wandered in to a resort. Think it's open. I'm not entirely sure. Oh man, is it? Ah, oh, Swaddy Cap. Somebody's here. Ah, oh, Swaddy Cap. What a cool looking place, look. That's what I wanted to show you in this hillside. Looks like Oh man, all these bungalows, yes, all in the hillside here. You've probably got your sea view. Oh man, it's really nice. <laughs> nice viewing area of Kotal. Oh man, I'll have a little walk through here. So I parked the bike there. I don't know if I should have come that far down because it's pretty steep. Oh man, wicked. So I could fly my drone from here. That's what I'm looking Oh mate, there's a pier. Look at that. Oh! Fuck! It's a pier down there, so it's probably really good for snorkeling, but a rough sea would be putting me off a bit. There's the boats out here to Nang, Nang Ma. I can't think of his bloody name. Um, but yeah, you could probably, I could probably fly my drone from there over to there. But what a beautiful looking view, looking right back to the ferry port and Cyrae Beach, where I was a few minutes ago. It's a cool spot, man. I don't think, it, 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 well, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I will, like I say, I will be today looking to see if I can see as much of Kotal as what I haven't seen before. It's my third visit, by the way, to Kotal. So if you do have an interest in Kotal, you can probably type that into my page and it will come up with a good few more vlogs. Right. I've got to get back up the way. Like I say, it was pretty steep coming up round there, but like I say, these huge Jurassic rocks 
beautiful feature of Koh Tao, it really is. Okay, this is the entrance where I just, I just come out, look. Koh Tao Hillside Resort, and it does say no motorbike allowed in. Um, funny. But here, look, this is probably how it is, where the pier is, down to the lava bits. You've got this lovely walkway. How cool. What a cool, oh, and the swimming pool in there. What a cool looking spot. <laughs> what? Oh, that's a DD bar and a, oh man. This. But there is a common sight throughout Thailand now. And <laughs> I keep seeing it more and more and more. And then since I've been in Koh Tao, I've seen the biggest ones yet. They have my eye out. I'm like, they're everywhere. <laughs> Look. The size of them, that one's about eight foot tall. <laughs> and they're looking pretty, pretty good. All right, nippy guard dog, look. Making sure no one nicks his weed. But how cool. <laughs> oh, mate, look at these ones. I wonder if he let me film. It's what he cap. It's... <laughs> Spotty. Can... Can I film? Okay. It's okay. okay. Yeah, these are looking good, man. Look at these, they're starting to bud up. Um, this one, look. Nice little buds. Man, and, and look in here, look. <laughs> good job. Man, how cool is that? <laughs> He's got them everywhere. <laughs> oh, man, look, look, look here, mate. Fuck it, you know. They are huge. This one's not going to produce much. That probably is a male, just by how spaced out the, oh, the thingies are. Um, I'll be getting rid of that one. That's two, two. <laughs> you have more. You have every, oh man, look, he's got his little ones going on. His little cuttings, cuttings, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, really cool. <laughs> oh, and you have more? Yeah. Oh, okay, go on, show me, let's see what his crop's like. He's pointing them. So how good is that? Someone just <laughs> go point, look. <laughs> I've got more weed. Oh man, he's got cocks. Mate, yeah, you've got big cocks. <laughs> man, oh look, here's what he want me to say, I think. But you know what it's like when I start wandering about, I see all sorts of things. See a fucking cannabis going here. Cannabis here, these beautiful Jurassic rocks. Not more down there, he's got, he's got them everywhere. Oh man, and what a beautiful garden. Oh man, all, all this. Look, look at them, man. they are absolutely, this is what I would call a Jurassic weed park. Look at that. Oh man, that's, I don't know, three, four more, four more weeks. This one finished soon. This one nearly finished. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Wicked. Look, everywhere. Boy has not missed a trick. That's really cool. And all the little cages, and they go on. I mean, look, look at this one. In a pot, that's like a 20 litre pot. It's taller than me. That is brilliant. Kapoom, you you gonna be rich? Yeah, yeah. Yes, good for you, buddy. Well done. Good to see. <laughs> oh man, I'm quite happy with today's vlog. Didn't know I'd be getting this, but look, he has got all these cotton. and they're quite precious. They look after these so much more than they look after their women. It's true. It's true. Good, good. Thank you, cup and cap. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Oh man, what a wicked little stop off. Cup and cap. A lot, yeah. Yeah, man, it's good. Good for you. Good for you. Have a good day. Cool. And I, I think they're Burmese, by the way. Um, <laughs> where the fucking horses over there? Terrible, man. I leave the bloody thing anywhere. Right, let's see what we stumble across next. Good news, things have changed. Last time I was at the end of this road, and this is the end of this road, that runs parallel to Cyrae Beach. Uh, and there's the sign 
<laughs> right there that used to be across here that said don't no entry prosecution or whatever um and i did go round to this place i've forgotten the name of the hotel but i did make a vlog i did go down there and make a vlog about the abandoned dusset dusset i think it is is it a dusset something but what a view of um nang whatever it is over there so wicked wicked <laughs> thinking i'm thinking oh mate i want the sea to be calm before i want to, i want to do the drone flight all around these islands and all over i want to do a proper drone f film of kotel because it is nice and small it's compact and uh, it will it does look awesome from the sky for, from other vlogs that i've watched or videos um, but I, wa I want it if i'm going to do it I, I want it to be bang on you know the sea nice and calm and still so um so I'm in for a few days if this weather stays like it is then it should stay like it is for a few days and the water will get clearer and, and everything will be a little better so really today I'm just having a bit of a recce up and about you know uh, just getting to see where Kotao has changed um, well I'm now going to go back the other way because uh, I need some breakfast so hopefully I'll find somewhere decent to have some munch one of my coolest little restaurants this is the coffee and of course you know Kotel what it's famous for no no none of that bollocks diving so this boat is now going to go out to that bigger boat and take all these oxygen tanks that's right next door there's a diving school and then right next door there's a diving school and then right over there is a diving school and then right over there there's a diving school <laughs> I reckon there's probably still over a hundred different diving schools on Kotal what a wicked view now that wind is pushing in to see this sea here is a little bit murky ah, it's time for breath but what a wicked place to stay in on all these rocks all round you can walk all the way around here and this lovely little beach which of course, this restaurant, it's a wicked little infinity pool to chill out. Uh, it's, it's just a classy little joint where divers hang about a little bit later after they come back after their first dive. Ah, so I'm going to see if the food is, a, is a still as good as it was last time I was here. My omelette has arrived. I'm impressed. 100 baht, and it looks really, I mean, really good. Look at that. Proper omelette with, come on that, lightly toasted. Mmm. Bread's really good. Lightly toasted. That's really fresh, crispy. Oh man. And it's an omelette. Potato omelette. Really good. No cheese, just egg, potato. I think a little bit of Thai basil in there. Mm. It's pretty good. Oh, no. I'm liking it sitting there. It was just a wicked view, just sitting there. Good food and I see how fast the ferry is now coming in, the more early one. Look at that motor in the cross. Right, that's how quick we were going yesterday in them rough seas, man. They just motor them across so quick. I've watched the dive boat has now gone out. Uh, well the small boat now has gone out for the second time. I just sit here, I see the the weather report is uh, we are in a bit of a storm at the moment. There's a little lull this morning, but like I say, the, the, the mornings are quite quiet, but the storm that Thailand's been getting here, I mean Phuket and here in the uh, Andam and the Gulf Sea, that's set to pull across today, but there is another one set to come in 
So I may be stuck here for quite some time waiting for the water to get clear so I can go and do my shark attack <laughs> stuff. So I might not happen. I might be here four days and I'll bugger off and then I'll probably come back for the fourth time. Who knows? But anyway, I'll go up. Anyway, next trip is I'll go and have a look at Shark Bay and see what that's looking like. Oh man. So I make it to Shark Bay. And there's this lovely little restaurant right at the top, look. Wicked little rest, okay. <laughs> the young ladies invited me in. <laughs> right, they rent snorkel and mask, look. 50 for a snorkel and mask, 50 for a fin, that's 50 baht for rent. Um, okay. <laughs> Swardy cap. So young ladies invited me in because she has a wonderful view look at that oh man there's even new buildings that have started since i was here last oh the shark bay looks awesome this is shark bay and as you'll see three dive boats that junk is always here i believe or or something similar somebody snorkeling just down there just going out and you will find the sharks so you've got three main diving vessels there. The sharks are not there. Okay, if you come off these rocks, right there, if you see where this guy, the little red dot, if you can see that, okay, where then they go. And if, if they continue on that course, ah, I'm seeing something bobbing up there. But I don't know if you see the dark bit of water. Okay, you don't want to go any further than that. The sharks you'll find in this clear zone. And look at that beautiful beach, yeah? Uh, it may sound quite weird, but the shallower you get, the more you'll find the sharks in Shark Bay. So, that is awesome. That's what I've come to see. That's what I've come back here for. And I'm now, mm, <laughs> oh, the beach, mate, that beach looks beautiful. And I bet it's all nothing but dead coral. Um, you've got boat tours going from over, so I don't, I don't know if I've actually been on to this beach. Mm. I know I've been up and all around th th these areas, but I'll try and see if I can find myself on that beach. But, ah, man, <laughs> what do I do? Do I get the drone out, have a little fly about? Do I go home and get my fins? I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Because a little bit later, it could be raining. And it certainly could be a shitty day tomorrow. So I've actually got to get myself busy. <sighs> okay. Right, so that's you. So I've shown you Shark Bay. I'll go and have a look at a few more things and then I'll wrap. Well, I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably be on this vlog for some time. But. Mm, I need me fins. I get sidetracked all the time. How can I leave this place right now? Ah, look, so I've come down all the steps, look, there are those three dive boats put you in oh, perspective to where I am and where I was because it is awesome to see and these little bungalows, look <laughs> and they're cheap, they're either four or five hundred baht a night these little bungalows which I should have really have stayed in, I know, the sound that one, I don't know if they're, they're all closed up, I think. I don't know if they are for rent at the moment. The beautiful sandstone rocks. I mean, what a bay. <laughs> Just in there. Oh, it is, it's, it's awesome looking. There's three more dive boats there. And this is, like I say, this is Shark Bay. Uh, in there. So, and there's another bungalow there. So if I walk round, <laughs> I will. I've got to get the drone up, and I? I have to, I've got to send the drone up while the weather's good. And this mountainside here is blocking uh, the wind. So it's just about perfect. <laughs> oh. Man. Yes, wicked. Look at the colour of that sea. Yeah, I mean that's gorgeous, is it? Oh, wicked, wicked for milling about. 
and that is where I usually walk off these rocks to go but as this unit is all looked it's got a little setup let's get you guys up 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 and away hey did a bit of droning and oh man it's really calm the wind and cool so I'm really gonna be hammering today to make the most of it and I've just seen that the pier beach bar is open well I, I saw this a little while back when I went up to Shark Bay up there the pier beach bar is open it weren't open before and as the view oh looks spectacular of the sea oh no hang on oh no <laughs> there we go front break oh down a hill oh slippery slope but I am lured <laughs> I'm always lured boat club oh look how it's just fuck oh mate how steep this section get oh oh it's a fucker it's just daunting doing it because it's just so <laughs> dangerous it's just not right oh we're carrying on oh man there's a this is a cool looking spot. I've not been here before. Well, <laughs> I'm here now. Oh wow. Oh man, I know where I am. Oh, there's a little bit of shit. Oh man, there's always a little bit of shit. <laughs> cool, cool, cool pool. And that would obviously belong to, I know it says beach, but this will all be part of a diving center and guarantee it with their own pool oh man look how cool is cold towel okay so there's a bit of shit washed up and this beach hasn't been cleaned oh oh man i haven't look this is oh this is a fucker because there's no reason for it and look at the puffer fish man you see the puffer fish they're all blown up he's worth a little bit of money He's actually worth a good bit of money. Just laying there and all that shit. Look, that blown up puffer fish, man. Fuck. I've got to get him. <laughs> I, I've got to get that puffer fish, man. And I've got, I've got to. They're worth, they're worth about 100 quid back home in the UK. Just laying there on the fucking beach. They are. Very rare. Ah, oh, man. But look at the bay. <laughs> That, the cloud is getting a little bit. You can see the seas coming in as coloured. But uh, this is on the opposite bay to Shark Bay where I just was. But if you look down here, so you've got your b -b 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 bearings. Welcome to Katow Resort. Now there is, um, I am disappointed to see shit washed up on the beach because if this is a resort and it's open, then this should be cleaned up every day. Look, that's not good. That's a bit, I'm disappointed to see this much crap. And if you look up where that little blue boat is, the two of them, that's where I had my omelette and my mango shake this morning. And the dive boat has, has long gone. But how disappointing that the beach is in such a dire state. And there is absolutely no need for it. Oh man. Oh. Just checking on me puffer fish. Oh he's there look, with all them coconuts look oh, like, how the fuck am I going to get him how am I going to get him and I'm going to grab hold of him I'm going to get a handful of spikes but uh, we're going to have a little look up here oh good day that's what he can oh it is it's a dive school right here you're open you're not open no okay no worries but dive schools are everywhere. Our oxygen tanks to fuck. Must be about 50 oxygen tanks right there. But we're walking up here. Well, I guess this is the bar that's got the advertisement at the top. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Don't know. The fridge is. I don't know if there's anyone there. Ah, oh, the fridge has got a padlock on it. Otherwise, you could just help yourself all day. Lovely <laughs> view. Oh. Right, mate. It's times like this, you just need to have a swing. 
and see it would jump off but it jumped straight into that skiff <laughs> I don't know if it's a skiff it's a boat isn't it oh man <laughs> oh this is good this is cool just think you too could come to Kotel and just have a swing <laughs> like Mr Kingerling can come here what happens in Kotel stays in Kotel well we know that's not true with 26 fucking mysterious deaths <laughs> I think the whole world has focused on what's happened in Kotel except for me not bothered not interested but looky 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 as we look across I think oh man I think that's Freedom Beach where you pay a hundred bucks to come on to which I, I have been there a bit uh, but I will go back and that's where you walk up to the viewpoint where I got fucking lost big time um, I got myself in a bit of a muddle if the truth be told but another I've walked I've, I've actually swam in here when it's been dead still there's not that many feet it's not that great for snorkeling it's okay but uh, just a wicked bay man beautiful island of Kotel and this is well as I say there's so much to Kotel that I could be doing but this vlog it is my first impressions of coming back to Kotel and even though there's a storm on its way I'm really happy to be here and there's a bit of shit for me to moan about <laughs> I'm still really happy to be here so oh man let's not, let's not stop this vlog just yet let's carry on a bit because I do have to see a man about a dog I do I won't gun to but I'm losing the battle every day it's just like oh it's just how it is and one needs his sleep you know so it's a battle so I do need to see a man about the dog and also it's coming up to bare o'clock time so before I end this vlog we'll find some more content how to get my puffer fish first off find a basket <laughs> fucking hell it smells like I said fucking hell man we're going to see <laughs> if we can get Mr. Pufferfish. But where he's so pale, <laughs> I fucking may not be able to get that close to him because he probably stinks like heaven, doesn't he? I don't know, he's pale. So the more washed out, the more. Ugh. Let's see, he might be all. He, he, I don't know, he might be all milky. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, man. So here we go. Can you see him? It's not a fucking football. Come on. Oh man, all the cuttlefish. Come on. Here you get Mr. Papa. Hey. Alright. Oh, he has got a bit. Oh man, his eyes. Oh, he's gone a bit blue. That's not good. He's fermenting. <laughs> He's been in the water too long, dead. Ah, gutted. Yeah, he's gone all melty. <laughs> Fucking stink. Gone dry out, Mr. Pufferfish. So there you go, look, Pufferfish, man. Poor fucker. Now that brown, normally. Oh, oh he's stinking, mate. He's bogging. Ah. That smell of dead fish, right? You don't want it. It burns your fucking nostrils and it will stick with you forever and ever. As I found out when I was about eight and I found a dead porpoise on Hemsby Beach, California Beach, California Sands. And I poked it about and the smell of it was, whoa, mate, it was all milky. It's just like Mr. Pufferfish just there. <sighs> Okay guys, if you're coming to Koh Tao, right, and you don't have a drone, that doesn't really matter, right? I'm going to show you why. Okay, and if you're coming to Koh Tao and you're thinking of going to stay in a really expensive resort, then don't bother. Stay where I stay for 250 baht a night and then come to the Koh Tao Resort to the Paradise Zone right it's just pretty cool wicked looking garden where you can actually pay 
250 baht per person as a walk-in guest you get a towel a free soft drink or a beer and you get to use the swimming pool right you get to use everything as if you're staying in a mega expensive resort so let's see what the Kotel Paradise Zone okay let's go left have to offer now I did walk in a second ago and I got caught by a reception asking me what I wanted <laughs> so I told them I want to make a small promotional video of your property and lady said yes so here I am I guess okay so you can actually stay here in a room oh man what a view see you don't need a drone you don't just come to this paradise zone that's a bar through there so I should be able to walk onto this terrace oh man oh man oh, oh. I love my job I did not know what to expect and then expect paradise <laughs> oh man yeah you can see where I just was and wow how super and a great big fishing boat out there you want a room with a view oh and done yet yeah, look look where the pool is <laughs> I've not been in here before obviously and you guys know I love an all-inclusive but this one they give me a towel and a free beer so it's like and there's sun loungers man where you can lounge in the sun there's a wall that could probably be a windbreak it's like wow it is Kotao is a beautiful 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 island and you don't have to go miles and miles and miles to find these little places they're all are very much close together and that beach bar I'm looking at down there that looks really cool I, I want to see if I can find out how to get there ah oh, man look beautiful pool no one here oh, wow 250 baht gets this place with a beer <laughs> all to yourself and that is look at that <laughs> I mean come on come on you're gonna have a selfie to show your mates look where I am you know not gonna get much you know better than that what a beautiful view ah, okay now there's one person i think in the restaurant and here we go we go looking right over shark bay that's the road that'll take you up to shark bay and then you've got to walk down um and this is look it's awesome it is and like i said i uh, you don't need a drone you just come up here Oh man, diving boats have started to pull out, which is a good sign. So I may still get in that sea today and see if I can spot some sharks. But you can see, I would say I'm very excited, boy, of finding these little paradise places. And I am now, I'm really happy the lady let me in. But even more so, I'm allowed to come back and spend 250 bar, aren't I? At some point, man, because it is just. Man, it's beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> it really is. Yes, it is, it's superb. Right up here in the sky. Cup and cab. And there's a little pool table in here. So if you, uh, mate, your mates, you could come here and have a really cheap holiday. Pool table, exercise bike, bar, coffee. You know, wicked spot, like I say, spent 250 baht and then come and spend your day here. Yeah. Restaurant area. That's really cool. And cool members of staff. Swadi cab, kapung, kapung cab. I think the clock said it's coming up to 11 o'clock, which is good because that means, mmm, mmm, 11.30 is just upon us. Young lady, cap on cap. 
I will, I will come again and I will spend a day here. Thank you. Kapum. That was really cool. Oh, man. And that was, um, was kind of unexpected, really. <laughs> well, we ain't done just yet. Welcome to High Bar. Bar and restaurant. Room for rent. Great bungalow. Oh, hang on, that didn't say that. Great baguette and special. Free entrance. <laughs> Where is it? Well, I'm gonna, I don't know if it's up here. Um, one of the members of staff, just as I was leaving the Kotao Resort, one of the members of staff told me, go and try High Point View. It's very good. And they have the best weed, he told me. That was the lady boy. Um, that I said hello to as we left. Funny enough, says has a good view, is free, and have the best weed. So I'm thinking, oh, I may have found myself. <sighs> Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Yeah, I'm good, buddy. Yourself? This is High Point View, right? They tell me you have the best marijuana. What do you want? They tell me you have the best marijuana. Yeah, yeah. Is right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, man. And you, you have a good view? Yeah. The view is this way? That way. Okay. I don't have my glasses, mate. Yeah. How much? How? I don't want shorts, beer, shake, juice, drinks, high bar. No, marijuana. Hmm? Yeah, you have marijuana. They say you have the best marijuana. Uh, 300 baht. Oh no, not the joint. You have, no, I, I don't want. So joints are 200 <laughs> or 300, depending whether they're made with, oh mate, the block. That's expensive, 15. That's all you have is block. Two, and that one is seven. Is all you have is block? Mm -hmm block at 1500 for an ounce that should be a thousand <laughs> but as the petrol man told me when I had to pay 200 baht to fill up the horse it's usually a hundred baht on Phuket he told me that is because we're on an island I gave him that look um, no that's that's no good for me mate no cup on cap cheers buddy um, that's just block but it's a bit expensive <laughs> Well, it's because we're on an island. But I'm going to have a look around this place. And if you're coming, you can buy your block there. But I'll go and see, I'll go and see my uh, Rasta mate in a minute. <laughs> and see what he's he's got. I don't want to buy all that block. And it is, it's a pretty good view nonetheless. And a good restaurant. You can probably get a nice ice cold Leo in here. But it's just another bar. And because you smell weed, you know you can come here and smoke. You can stay in the apartments. And it is, it's not a bad view, but to be honest, I would actually go and have a day. Oh man, Captain Kilgore. Now that's a, that's a wicked picture of my mate. Look. <laughs> oh, one of the best films ever. Captain Kilgore. Kilgore, I'm sure that was his name. Right. Let's go and see that man about that dog. My favourite little street in Kotel. Even though this place looks like it's closed down. <laughs> Baby Rasta looks like he's fully, fully open. And there is, this is his truck, his big truck. <laughs> Oh, I've got to look at his Dodge, his baby Rasta mobile. Now, I have vlogged this before when it was indoors. Uh, you didn't really see it much then. But how wicked, I mean, even the eyes, look. <laughs> the baby Rasta mobile. It is the baby Rasta mobile, which is wicked. Look at that, bro. And it's nice it's out in the sun and not sat in there. He's got his Honda Cub. Look at that. That's awesome. It really is. A little vent, a little cap on the lens, look. <laughs> a little welding on the exhaust. 
007. That is wicked, mate, that. And do you know what? That's worth about two grand in the UK. I oh, know. Everything's got a price or value. It has. It has. What a wicked thing, man. Probably just take this stuff for granted. But before I go and see my man about his dog, White Jail Kotel Hostel. I, I didn't notice that this was open, but look, White Jail Kotel Hostel. Daily, monthly. I missed out the weekly. So I wonder how much Twoddy Cab, how, how much one night in the hostel is. 150? 800? Oh, for private room, 800. Oh. 220 per night for dormant. 270. Okay. So you can go into the dormitory and for 270 bar. And you've got perhaps the biggest weed bar next door. Carp on cap, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Or 800 for a private room. Um, uh, what did I now, where I now went to the, the higher view, I asked that guy how much his bungalows were. I said I'd be staying for three nights. He said 450 bar. That's at the place who just had the expensive weed. Um, just so you know. Good day, so what do you care? So we are going in. <laughs> so this, look at that old Dodge buried there. I didn't notice that before. Fucking Dodge, just look at that, man. The bus, the freedom, the bus to freedom. We are, we're going into this den of iniquity. Is if you haven't seen this place before, <laughs> It's proper funky, mate. It really is. Tuk tuk on the wall, and all this wood <laughs> everywhere. And it is a wicked spot, and there's more light coming through here. I mean, this is a new chill out zone. That's a wicked little zone. I like it's got his windows in here, so that's really good. If you can imagine, right, you're sitting here. Right, well, this is perfect, right? So, oh man, oh, I can't do it, the doors. You can imagine, right, you're sitting here, you get a bit hot, and you can just open the window. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, fucking, oh, bit of trip hazard, bit of trip hazard. But yes, Mr. Baby Rasta does live in a bit of a fire hazard. <laughs> And they do, I think they live up, yeah, upstairs, look, the living quarters, man. It is a crazy, wacky place. It is awesome. Great place to chill, look. And that's where we have his music. Jam nights, of which I have been <laughs> asked to attend on a couple of occasions, but I just get too wasted, don't I? The daytime smoker in the sun. But, ah, oh, there he is, the main man playing the bass. Cool. Wicked. Wicked. But it is, you've got all these, oh man, it's the place. And now, like I say, you know, it's, it's. <laughs> Look at it down there, man. It really is. Rest to heaven. Hippie heaven. It's like the boat bar in Kopai Am. Very similar. Oh man. <laughs> right, now I'll get back. Is this in the way? It's like, <laughs> it's a maze. I'll go back this way. Wicked place, baby, Rasta Bar. And a co-tail rider. <sighs> Hello. Ah, oh, yes, he he's got buds in jars, or is it just block? Got blue and green, apple pie and blue and green. Ah, oh, man, look. <laughs> apple pie. Baby rust, I think that's the original tie stick that they've got. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, I don't want to buy too much, but I do need to buy some. Hang on. Okay, so I'm having the apple pie. Yeah. And you say this is not Thai. Yeah. 
import. Yeah. Yo, um, from um, uh, Canada. From Canada. Yeah. Apple pie. Canada. Apple pie from Canada. So I'm having it's five it's five hundred gram a bar, so I'm having yeah. two grams. And that looks like some nice buds. It's 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 got a little bit of a smell to it. So I'm hoping. Man, they're nice and they're really well manicured. If you see how they've been cut, yeah. uh, all the shade leaf and everything, they've been trimmed really well. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I've got a little bit of the block left. Uh, about the same amount, so I'll, I'll mix the two together, you know. Okay. That's what I do. Yeah, okay, cup on cap. Cheers, buddy. Ah, ah I still need, right, so I am. We'll go for the end scene next. I've seen the man, I've sorted the dog, and now I need a nice cold Leo and sit in the sun. Okay, right. Nearly done. Right, when you get off that ferry there when you arrive, you can, you can walk up that road can walk down there and then walk up another road and then you can walk along a path that runs parallel to Cyrae Beach with all the little businesses on it where I kind of started taxi, taxi. this vlog this morning after you buddy but I forgot about this little street that goes to the right just here <laughs> Just down here. Oh, fucking idiot. Darn then. Hey, look, it's fucking off. <laughs> oh, man, that was Mr. Chong. <laughs> so, yeah, this little street down here, look, totally forgot about it. It's cool little shops. Oh, man, look, that takes you right out to the pier. That's the pier where you wait to get the ferry to leave. Just there. Um, Oh, so I've only, I don't think I've actually been down this little street. Oh man, what have they got going on? Ah, oh, toys. <laughs> oh, it's a tattoo shop. Oh, okay. Oh, it's the toys. I could sell him some stuff, maybe. That is wicked. Good day, buddy. These little deep sea divers, look. They are cool. Big fan of the deep sea divers. So we're gonna come to the end here, I hope, I believe, and find a little place on my right where I can go and sink an ice cold one and just sit in the sun. DA sandwiches right here by, oh man, by the, <laughs> oh man, by the, that infinity pool just there, look. I could probably have a beer there, but it, I don't know. So we carry on. Now that's the road I just come down, and you go up there on the left, you'll find the Rasta bar, the baby Rasta bar. So that's how I now found my way to here. And okay, that looks better. Better, better looking pier. Does that probably go on and on and on? As I do. Oh, come on. Can I park my bike here in the shade? Yes, I can. Turn that off. Oh man, the, the sea has calmed down. The wind has dropped since I started this vlog this morning. Oh, <laughs> I can sit there and have a beer. Yes, yes, I can. Ah, oh, beautiful, man. It is an awesome, awesome place is Kotel and if you've been watching the vlog from the start and I hope I've kept you entertained and interested right through to the very very end which we haven't finished yet you can just see how easy it is to get about Kotel in a morning it's like now coming up to 11 30 um, you know there's where the big ferry come in here's another bit but it's a beautiful turquoise water and then right over there I'm, I'm now going to sit there and get myself a Leo. Yeah, it's 11 thirsty, bare o'clock. And I believe I've earned it today. I think I've done a good job today. So, can I get a Leo or is it just a coffee shop? It's what he kept. 
Hello. 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 You so Leo? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is it really cold? Yeah. Yes. Is your twin big or one smaller? Ah, oh, I don't know. You're all French. A bit. Okay, I was going to say, this guy didn't look Thai to me, you know. You started uh, speaking with the, the French, you know I love the French accent, it's cool. Thank you yes, so much. one ice cold beer, please. Yeah, but bigger or smaller? Oh, just a small one. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> that's when I end my show, they're all going to probably look at me, aren't they, when I go, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, so cool. So I get to have me happy ending. Welcome. Cheers, buddy. Capon cap. Oh, merci. 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 Yeah. <laughs> wow. Awesome. I get my beer. I get my seat right there. I get to sit in the sun. So, guys, cheers for watching today's vlog. It was a good vlog. I've got to admit, it was a good vlog. <laughs> I went out, uh, like I say, I'm, I, I want to see as much as what Koto is right now as what you guys do, yeah, so the only way to do it is to just get out there uh, and either find stuff or stumble across it, which I think I did a good job today. I do, kept myself busy, lots of little bits of interest, and you know what, I probably only covered a quarter of what, what Koto has to offer, mainly on uh, this side, but like I say, I'm here for a few days, the weather looked like it is calming, don't want to spook that, but... Oh. Ah. oh, it's just so good. Oh, man. Oh. I am at the moment. I am. I am. Fucking boat ride getting there yesterday was like, it was, it was horrendous, mate. Fucking loads of people were throwing up. Um, the guy behind me, he, he filled up two bags of sick, right? But it was happening everywhere. And I can't go. I was just like, oh, I've got to get this out. I've got to get that. I thought, no, no, no. How the fuck can I run around a ferry filming everybody throwing up, getting some sort of relief from it? Because it's content. It's like, yeah, people want to see this. Nobody fucking done. <laughs> so I did myself proud yesterday by not filming loads of people throwing up on the boat. I didn't. Um, but it was alright. It was another English guy. I didn't catch his name, unfortunately. He's staying with a, with a young girl on the island. We had a good bit of banter, man. It was, it made, um, there was a young girl. I didn't catch her name. American lady living in Mexico. I chatted to mostly on the bus journey. And then the young English guy on the ferry journey. So chatting just, it just, it just, the time just goes, doesn't it? So uh, I had a really good day yesterday, funny enough. Plenty of chat and um, a couple of really nice people, which was really good. And then when I got here, I had that weirdness about finding a room. But that's basically what Thailand is like, you know. You know you're going to find a room. You know there's something, you never got to be on the street or whatever. It's just going, going through it, you know, and then waking somebody up. Uh, and that was really cool because like I say I was about to give up I think what am I going to do now maybe get the booking uh, app out and that and then that lady just appeared so I was really happy um, oh and I was up till late last night getting that vlog all up and done but now the time I've now done this one at midday I can now go and upload this in the computer and by two o'clock that's done and probably by that time I, I don't know I'm, I'm gonna drink that I'll probably go and have a sneaky bifter and then um, well, I don't know. All good intentions. I want to go and swim with the sharks today, but if I'm not going to have a sneaky biff there, I fucking I'll be on that. Like, the only place I'm going to be swimming is in the bathroom. <laughs> oh well, once I've had a split, that's it. Game over. Done. I don't know what to do. Fuck all else except roll another joint. So we we have to battle it and have to fight it. Have to get a bit more work done before we sit down and have our fun. But today, I believe, was a really good day. I'm glad to be back in Kotel and I hope the weather holds. So, I shan't keep you anymore. Big cheers for watching, staying to the end. And until next time, au revoir!